Oh, let's talk compositions here. Um, oh, wait. Didn't start on pistol rounds. My bad. This is round one. So let's talk about the compositions. Um, both teams have to rely on jets. Like, as I explained during the first map when I was doing the vote review, Ascent is a really bad map from my perspective. And you rely on creating space by the jet, by dashing onto site, by dashing onto the top of Jenny, by dashing onto the right side box, checking the angles and creating the pressure for the players. On B side, most of the executes actually rely with the jet dashing over to site, over the over the boathouse, uh, like this, right? And that's essentially it. Like it, it's just so much it's so much pressure on the jet doing the job on attack is actually kind of insane. So um, that's why I dislike this map. It's very monothematic when it comes to the attack side. And if your jet has a bad day, if your jet is like, getting killed randomly for the smokes and, and stuff, and you then can't really do an execute because of that, you're relying on defaulting and punishing mistakes from your opponents. Which, if your opponent is disciplined, will not happen. So, yeah. Um... We'll see how that goes. Otherwise, that's pretty pretty standard stuff uh, on the compositions. The only big difference is that DRX has no Sentinel, and because of that, it feels like um, it feels like they're gonna have to play completely differently uh, on on defense. We're gonna pay attention to that. I, I from what I remember from the watch party, um, round nine was the best example of that. So during round nine. We're gonna pay attention to DRX map positioning because I feel like the best example of how does DRX play with no Sentinel on this map. Also, BBL's mid execute was so weird, I cannot grasp it. So we'll see. Gonna be using a lot of the same. Utility, a lot of the same ideas, obviously going to be thrown into the mix. Both care daggers didn't get a lot of value. Once more, but a fast play by BBL. Uh, see? <laughs> where, where's the where's the dash? Where's the side dash? Where, where's info? Where's info, my friend? Like, I know there's a KO dagger being used to check this, this up close, but so much time has passed, like, someone could already reposition. Like... Not not having the habit of side dashing here is really, really bad. Really bad. Play by BBL. Like just dashing forward, not giving any info. Why not why you are not checking this angle? Why are you not checking this angle? Like this, there's no reason to do this. You know? Something that they are known for. It's a nice hit. All of them. Nice push out from uh from the Molly though. Like I like that. Running straight into the side, the flash into the back of it, RB forced out of position. The angles are being watched Dude. for, but a spam through the wall still. Stacks. If overheat by the Kushner, no imagine, imagine if he gets the ace here. That would have been so insane, man. That's absurd. I was all ready to pick up how BBL had played that. Yeah, and just like that, the damage is done, but you can't lose this one, Brennan. It'd be a heartbreaker. The hound so late? No, the hound, the hound was really well played to actually just get in that position. Obviously not taking contact there into the turret. Pretty smart. Heads up. Just in case it did bring him down. A bit of a crossfire being played on top of Jenny. It's brave even. No, he's up here. Dude, that that, that peak is going to haunt stacks. That peak is going to haunt stacks. Because the reason why he loses this clutch, right... The reason why he loses this clutch is because he peeks too early with the gun out. Look, the gun is not ready to shoot. He knows where the opponent is. And both are on 10 HP. The only reason he loses this, I mean, so I'm not saying he would have been winning it otherwise, but he's 100% losing it because he's tapping the spike, right? Tapping the spike, and he peeks faster than the 375 milliseconds of time that you need to re-equip the gun when you're un uh, defusing it like nuts man and is it gonna be the ace to finish not quite denied in the end bbl gonna be claiming that pistol i was talking about bbl hunt wow they were made bbl doesn't have a hunt get over the line in the Ooh. end i've just got flashbacks of stacks 
jumping from heaven on yeah. ascent and doing all sorts of crazy stuff, but BBL finally able to make that work, and they're investing into two rifles heading into the next round. Off the back of that, it is so difficult, right, to attack into DRX's comp because you have to break a recon, you have to break a horn. There's all sorts of utility coming flying at you as you try and get into the sites. Damn, but I coughed in my friend. Yeah. You know, there's just so many different things they can do. Three things that could potentially go wrong, but I'm on the way now with this round. Yo, DRX is doing the same mistake. I, I cannot be bothered now. Buddha, are you still in chat? Flash through the smoke and, yeah. you know, there's just so many different things. Why is this, why is this happening with DRX as well? Uh, look, Zest, no drone. Stacks, no utility at all. RB, no utility at all. Why are the teams even as prepped as DRX not buying util? on a round two eco. Potentially go wrong, but I'm on the way now with this round. I don't get it, man. Nothing There's absolutely there. zero reasons. Yeah, are getting that this is 100% mistake. On the A site attack, that is their win comp. As I see it, yeah. Kushina having an extremely good entry success rate is the thing that could possibly push BBL over the line in this map. He would just have to have an ungodly performance just to try and pull them through because if you do watch BBL play this map in the past, at least most recently in the off season, they have been quite a one dimensional team. It tends to go down to like plays like this, a lot of five hits all the way through, just trying to take. I really the like the, uh, that's disgusting. Shorty up in the air, apparently still accurate. I really like the, 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 the passive being used by Dread here to get the second shot with the, with the shorty. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. An absolute nuisance, but stacks on round two, you buy only skills with the idea not to use them. Yes, that is correct. Ghost, you buy it and you're not using it until until you get into huge advantages and you feel like, oh, this utility can actually help my team win this second round. A lot of the time, people will updraft dash and land on the site, tucked in on that close corner. Yeah, Buzz was literally sat there with a shorty staring at the sky, <laughs> waiting for that to happen. It's not what Kushina did, it's in there that might net them a win. So we have what we have here. BBL goes three zero two. Get a bonus. Their economy is so good. They have rifles everywhere. This round is super even. An amazing beginning for this map. Aslan. Essentially calling it curtains for quite some time as well, just from how one-sided that previous one looked. They're not feeding the orb to Aslan. They could have mm -hmm. had a lockdown, but Turco's taken it instead. He's still three away. What is the equipment on BBL? They have really insane guns for this stage of the game. Like, this is really nuts. Only Brave, like, committed to a rifle without uh, having a failsafe. So but, uh, but see, see, look at Stacks and RB. They bought, bought full util here, right? Really thinking about the old game, possibly? Well, and sure again, th this is this is a problem spot. with like I, I like the fact that um, BBL is actually trying to get space from mid because they know there's no killjoy, there's no chamber, there's no cipher, there's no one, not a single piece of utility that is holding this position. So Buzz had to be like face checking it, and he got he got tagged. Well, unlucky for BBL. Very easily, that actually did tag up onto Zest. Buzz has to dash through to try and anchor it to the back of the site. Layers of that util being dropped down now, just making it that much more difficult for them. Dropping onto the site needs to be a trade, and Brave is there, but eventually these anchoring players dealt with. Two versus two. Great work from BBL getting into the site like that. They pause oh, for a moment. Fast? I don't think you can play this fast against the lockdown. Surely not. Pop flash play. I'm not sure if I like that actually from uh, from from DRX. Like the the ultimate was being used before the plant, right? Look, I don't think there's any reason to like be fast here because there's a one way on stairs, right? I feel like there there wasn't a lot of communications right here from RB and Mako. Like if Mako communicates that this, there's a smoke he cannot push, then maybe RB would not push himself out here out of out of lane because i feel like the timer like it's only six seconds man 
It's only six seconds. That that Killjoy ultimate doesn't really buy that much. So I don't know. Has to it. He's away. And Mako has literally one HP. Difficult task, isn't it? Oh, that smoke is not so great for Brave. Yeah, this is actually kind of interesting that he opted for this smoke. It worked out in the end, but this smoke is not ideal, right? And this is a phantom moment, I guess. Would have been visible. Would have been visible with a Vandal? Actually, he has a Vandal. No? Never mind. He is visible anyway. And he was hugging the wall. I wonder if this is actually on purpose. I don't know. If this is on purpose, that's some Pock Champ smokes. But it could have ended badly. Because if, you, if your opponent has any flashes, like the, like the one way would have been so much better, right? And he already did the one way. So it's kind of interesting. Weapon in hand, he was holding it. Anticipating that push, and that is that bonus round that we were talking about. BBL claiming it. You missed Real yesterday? Roll. What do we mean? What did they miss? Honestly, a pretty beautiful start to this entire map. And I'm gonna give credit there to Brave and Aslam Shadow for how well they traded getting into the site. Because once BBL had uh, gone through mid, taken market, they take the front of the site, but it's still a 4v4 where they need to get in and actually get the plant down. And they did such a good job at sticking tight together and trading out the DRX anchors. Didn't stream? Yeah, off day, my friend. Step further. Knife over the top, not getting too much done. But two people being tagged in mid, like oh, that. Really when you tag two people with the with the KO dagger, you're almost uh, certain they're playing crossfire. So that's not worth doing that. Doing pushing the mid. Let's see if if Kushner this time does a does a side dash. Did he? Did he? Also, I, I like this is just so disjointed, man. Like that first flash, I don't even know why it happened. Let's see. I don't, I don't know when. Why, why, why does why is there no smoke from Kushner? Like why is there no smoke here? He's dashing into an eco. He literally gives an opportunity to Mako go. Oh hey bro, if I hit this shot, this entire execute is just stopped. And and what's even more funny is if he gets the shot on Kushner, if he doesn't miss this right, then the um, then the player on Jenny gets a free gun. Yet, and finally you see it. Updraft dash onto the Jenny, resetting the aim. In just a few moments, still RB. He's just waiting into the back of the side, but a weapon diff will make it short-lived as he was attempting to anchor. And dodging the dart there, really important for Brave. Yeah, play Twitch trap on consoles and remove the ability to chat and you don't have to use your phone. Maybe better for you, man, because really typing on controller, oh my item. god, man. Miracles, but just down to zest. Honestly, more than an impossible task. As long as BBL just don't give anything. They watched the loud game. Yeah, I did watch it uh, with one eye on the TV. A, a little bit. I'll be honest with you. I think Gen G is actually was actually playing really well. It was actually a nice match. Much better start than the prior map. Yeah, fantastic stuff from them. And this is where the snowball can genuinely start developing. Yep. Turco won away from his ultimate. I would expect DRX to recognize that and look to fight for at least one of the orbs. An operator online for Buzz, he can be posted up in B main if DRX want to fight aggressively with the KO and the Omen on the other side of the map. I mean, fighting for the extremities here seems like it makes the most sense. There's still a big ult of their own to go for a little retake setup or something if they just want to allow Turco the ult. Yeah, which could be one plan of action, I think, as well, but... Oh, we don't have to wait for that. We can actually skip it. Yeah, going 0-4 on ascent defense is insanely bad for mental game as well for a team. Like, you know that this map is so defenders based and you're being run over right now is really not good because it creates pressure. Like, if the team loses this round, it's most likely over. And the, the players know that. So it, it really requires ironclad mentality and the coach to be like, 
driving the entire team. And by the way, this is actually kind of weird. I don't know. It's like D-Rex knows that they use this paranoia. And yet they play like in this position. So Buzz, Buzz, Buzz is really in a bad spot. Like this is like right now I consider DRX being outplayed by one paranoia that was being used in the past round. And the only reason why this works out is because Kushner just literally, literally fucks up the dash. Look, he literally dashed into this edge of this wall. And because of that, he is like, oh, um, um, hmm, I'm uh, right now uh, pretty, pretty in a bad spot. Look. He literally, the job is there to dash onto site. And he dashes too fast. He bumps himself into the edge of the wall and goes Mario. Whoop, whoop, beep, beep, like this. Mario jump. You know? And he dies because of that. And if, if he wouldn't die like this, right? Then he would have been on site, stacks would have been revealed, and Buzz would have been in a really bad spot. There's no way get any time. Up in the air. And there it is. That's what Kushner wanted to do. <laughs> That's so toxic from Buzz. <laughs> That's so toxic from Buzz. Yo, Kushner, let me show you how it's done. <laughs> Boonga, much for the 18 months. Double Twitch, baby. Yeah, that's right. Thank you so much. And and this is like I don't know man. Like, like they go out without right. being ready. Look 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 at the timing. It's like A nasty shot. There are four players in B main. Sorry, three players in B main. But they just I don't get it, man. Where's the Sova drone? Wait. Sushin goes into the Sova drone right now, right? Why on earth is revealing area? Why on earth is using a even a Sova drone? I don't get it. Like there's no reason for the Sova drone here. They just need to run out of this flash. And that's it. The Sova drone doesn't give doesn't give any value. Not only gets fully flashed, right? Look look at this. The drone is like oh, 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 fantastic value. Like, that's some massive miscommunication here coming from BBL. Because if your jet already committed to a dash, either you use this drone and you don't push out, or you push out of the flash and the Sova doesn't use the drone. Because the Omen was actually TPing backside with the ult. So this, this drone puts a huge dent in the entire plan because it essentially kills one player of the attackers without being killed. You know? That's about it. Like, there's some huge miscommunication in planning here from coming from BBL. Yo, Matezak, thank you very much for the tier 2. 15 months. Can't believe it's 15 months already. The best times at the best streamer. Thank you, my friend. To the back of the site. That is with the spike, but cleared back. Reset of the aim zest. And up <clears throat> Man. I wish I would have aimed like this. Then I would have been playing Phantom for sure. Monic performance. No one is allowed to step foot past that choke. When did you upgrade your train? This is a tier 2 train. This is a tier 1 train. Tier 2 is faster one. Tier 3 is a plane. I think he actually clipped the edge of the hut as he was going for his dash over. So we just can't but you can tell the game plan actually seems pretty solid from All right, so this is this is actually that I had a problem with BBL here. Um they won this map Right? But I still will be nitpicky about it. Look, this is something that I find really, really odd from BBL planning. Because it seems counterproductive. We're gonna see a dagger and KO old, uh, sorry, and KO grenade with the smoke on mid. So what happens here? The KO dagger drops in here. Right? This is the dagger. Now, how do we draw a dagger? We draw the dagger like this. This is the dagger that lands over here. We have the smoke in this position over here, right? So that's the smoke. 3D painting. And then the molly, the defragment, lands in this spot. What's the point of that? Because the thing is, if you do, if you do the dagger and you do the molly, 
then you're pushing out a player from pizza towards market. But you put out a smoke, so you can't really fight him, so you can't really get an advantage by using this. By using this, and if you smoke this, the only thing you achieve is that you can lurk into bottom mid. But the thing is, the player that got tagged on market can reposition to pizza anyway, so you have to re-clear it. Right? And the problem is that there's also no sentinel, so this, this defragment that you see here also doesn't destroy anything. So the only reason to use this defragment is to push away a player from this position. And also, I forgot about one more crucial piece of the puzzle. There's a Sova, Sova arrow being used on mid as well, right? Yeah, look. The Sova arrow also clears mid, like a bottom mid, but a player can hide in the smoke. You see the, you see the Sova arrow here? Like, this is so weird, man. I don't... It's like they used Sova arrow, KO, uh, uh, KO grenade, one smoke, KO dagger, right? To do nothing. And this is something that is being used like four times on attack. Let's pay attention to this. This is this is the first time that BBL is using that. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be putting in notes on this. This is the first time I was seeing this setup. See the beginning of this one, a whole bunch of utility being used, and in the meantime, that fight for control of BBL. No, no clue how that happened. Falling. Be a large opening available to them. BBL not wasting any time though. And this is a great play from Kushin. Look at the pace. I mean, the guy has been caught. Ultra popped off. Yeah, the nightfall. Couldn't quite hear too much going on, but they still want to try and just work their way. Oh my the god, Brave that diffed. Diffed the like player on Jenny, to. man. Standard plant. No util. Really uh, I was wondering. I was wondering if Zest couldn't have played on Heaven, but it, it doesn't really matter that much. Turco can't use his flashes here. He's just kind of stuck. Yeah, have Haunt over the top. Even a dart up close. This is a very big overheat moment from Sushni. Very big overheat moment from Sushni. And but you can you you can understand him to some degree. He knows that Zest is low. Like he spammed it a lot. Like he feels that. It, he 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 has a chance of winning this round by himself if he gets this one. Like it's an overheat, but I can understand where he's coming from. This is like a typical moment where it's bloodlust. But it's it's not a terrible choice. You know? It's like you you can't blame a player for doing this. Over the top, even a dart up close. Schneer, the problem is him. that he just doesn't hit it. <laughs> you know? Uh and very important for, for Buzz, this is... Oh my god, this is so good. This is so good, guys. Like, look look at look at how, look how Buzz retakes the site here. We're gonna go back in time. We unfortunately don't see it. But essentially, the players... Right now, when this fight is happening, two players from, uh, from DRX are on Haven, right? And they are pushing out... Is They push out from... Let me, let me rephrase. The retake from Heaven is happening in an analogical way to how a execute is happening on this site. Because the thing is that retaking is like an execute. But instead of goal of, of planting the spike, the goal is to get to the spike. Right? So it's actually the same. It just changes the direction most likely if you go from spawn, but it doesn't change the direction if you're flanking and going from main. Right? So, what Buzz achieves here is he dashes onto Jenny to create similar pressure like an execute achieves it from A main. So, he dashes onto Jenny with the smoke up, and because of that, he buys uncertainty for the players under and also players from A main, right? Which buys time for the other player from heaven to join him. Look, he dashes onto Jenny, and now Turker is like, oh no. What do I do now? And he has two flashes, but those flashes will not work because he's already in a dangerous position and the smoke counters the flash. Right? So, very important piece of utility that will happen after that is the follow-up from Buzz. Buzz is going to use his own smoke to create a one-way 
by using it on top of heaven. Something that I rarely see and that, that can be done by every single character that has a smoke in game. And this is one of the rare occasions I actually see this. If you guys were watching me last year, um, maybe you have seen how I tweeted about this and how Mixwell actually s uh, replied to it and be like, oh shit, okay, well, we learned something. Look. Fortunately, a couple of patches. Here, here we go. Too far ahead. And now the player in, Haven, uh, in hell is like, oh no. Everyone can attack him and he's not going to see anyone. Oh shit, my bad. Uh, Let's do it again. Here we go. And that's the one way. And that essentially demolishes the player. That essentially demolishes the player in hell. Because there's no way that he can get an isolated angle on one player. And, the, and the, the, then the defenders now have so much space. And now, look, Zest is just... Zest is just diffusing while the other players are just like, yeah, we're chilling. There's nothing we have to do. We won the round by not doing anything. So many <laughs> okay. okay. So many post plant situations though in this game overall, whether it be diffuses or you know, just delaying time for the post plant to go off. The DRX are looking immaculate. Now. You know, there so many positions where we see one or two players left alive for BBL, and they're just checkmated. They can't do anything. Yeah. Aslan no matter what they try. Demolished there like by the one by one, one prowler. There, but I was expecting him to go through the glass and pinch the guy on sight. And again, and into second time. He was just trying to catch the fade on a The same setup, right? Let's see. Smoke. Star player's got to produce something for BBL. Buzz. Doesn't know which Dagger. In case there is an updraft. Sushni used the arrow as well? It was destroyed, right? Yeah. It's literally the same setup. Literally the same setup, but it doesn't achieve anything. And now they they used one smoke on... Oh my god, this one. This one even... This one even didn't hit pizza. Look at this. It didn't even hit pizza. So he butchered the lineup. Oof. But still, again, it doesn't achieve anything. Like, I'm, I'm really flabbergasted. I, I, I think I need to... Like, this is actually an interesting concept because I can't find a reason to use this for, for any, like, success rate. You know? But if I'm missing something, I would love to learn about this. But I can't find any reason to do this myself as a team. You know? Yo, Shamash, thank you so much for the five months. Welcome back, buddy. How are you doing? Just in case there is an updraft in play, but Kushina. And now the Sova drone is being used as well. So literally, Sushni used a drone and arrow for nothing because he had to clear short twice. And one smoke would have achieved the same. And the, like, literally just putting a smoke over here, right? And then using the drone towards market would have achieved the same as what they did right now, but actually would have been better at, achi at achieving pressure and creating uncertainness of the defenders. He's trying to make a play as well off the back of the drone, and he's not he's wasting so any fast. time again. He's just trying to disrupt these timings. This is way quicker than DRX can expect. Yeah, yeah but it, this is a really good push by, by Kushner. Like, based on the shot of the operator, he knows how much time he has. Absolutely, all the way through. Although, that dash, I don't know what dash was. Like, that, that is some overheat moment here. Look. Why are you dashing with this? The timer was just activated, right? Let me check. Yeah, look at the timer on the dash. Yeah, I'm not sure I understand this. Absolutely all the but this is this is sick. Like Buzz was he's Buzz is actually not flicking. He just waits for exactly this angle. Look, he's pre-aiming here. He knows that this is going to happen. This is something that was happening in so many of his games that he knows there's no point in holding at this angle because the jet will always jump up and try to hover. So literally, literally 
Buzz just counters his opponent by knowing what he will do. Still, not the best outcome for the defenders because it's one for one. So. That had to be just seconds away. Oh, that is filth. But again, Soshani leading his team really quick, pivoting into a B split, but they don't control B main. Yeah, if you have to control this area, you have to at least anticipate it. And Zest still alive, backing him up, trying to play with the rest of his team. The swings, the crossfires, despite the smoke, pushing away through. And with the spike drop down, it leaves Aslan in a very, very unfortunate scenario. Another 1v3 that doesn't really seem winnable. Mako coming up behind. Can Aslan make magic? He's found the first one, but just encroaching and yeah, eventually just squeezing. Mm, 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 mm. I gotta say, Josh, honestly, the way Kushin has been playing, the amount of pace as well, just trying to disrupt it, it is a pretty key win con, I think. Just not letting that triple initiator comp get comfortable or set up. Trying yeah. to catch those awkward timings, but definitely. Yeah, I think the game plan is solid, but the tempo that BBL are playing at means that they're missing things out. Like, for example, taking B-Main control here. It, it's a decent idea to try for that immediate pivot. Dude, Stacks could have also died there. It could have been a disaster. In that hand. But again, there's just some compromise. You know, by playing that quickly, you can't play perfectly. Yeah, you don't get oh, wow. Leaves up respawn. Wait, this is a full buy, right? No. Kushner has a rifle. Kilja has a rifle, but Kilja is top mid. Why is Brave just peeking, dry peeking like this? What is going on over here, man? What is going on? I really feel like there's just teams are not embracing utility. That's it. Imagine using just any of your smokes that you get for free. Right? Main, making sure they take these fights, but Buzz with his watchful eye, the operator straight down a line of side angles into mid. This, this is tough. This is like this is a proper mistake by Stacks over here. This is a proper mistake because not only he announces his position by being loud, but also the Sova was not holding main. So pure communication by Stacks and Stacks relies on Sova. Well, the server doesn't do anything. Stacks caught with a utila, but okay, There's a trade, but it's still not good. Zest still That's is a getting a bit shot. scrappy, and yet, yeah, beautiful one to find. You need to be able to punish those peaks from Buzz. And there's a, quite a few rifles down over towards B main. BBL had two in this round. Can they recover the one that Kushner owned? If so, this is looking like a fairly even round still. Lockdown still available here. They're trying to post up. 100%. If I'm Aslan right here, I'm giving the gun to the Turco and I'm playing a, a, a sheriff with 21 HP. I want to be the player that goes first and has the weakest gun. Disrupts the timing that it could otherwise get into the site, but post plant lockdown though is going to be difficult for DRX to deal with. Yeah, for now, just tapping that spike, making sure that. Are they not gonna. Get would you use. Yeah, like would you it. play no, differently as Sushni here? Where? Go backside and use the wall. Too late to think about it now, but I feel like that would probably. Probably was the play, but it's a hindsight, hindsight, Harry. This is like. This, I'm going to be nitpicky because I feel like this is a very basic mistake. Uh, not not, not small mistake. A big mistake by BBL with that peak from, from backside. Like, I feel like that was so fundamentally flawed. There's no way you're winning this. Like, look, 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 look at this. KO ults, but doesn't peak first. Not only he announces from which side he's going to peak, but the Kildred peaks first. Even though the KO is on the ult and he's able to be a bait, right? I understand that the Kildred has lower HP, but the thing is, the ult changes the perspective on this. So not only the, the, like, I don't get it, man. Like, the ult is also not needed because your opponents right now are not using utility. They're going to be going in with the guns out. So this ult doesn't really do much, you know? So they waste it. They waste a crucial piece of ultimates in a, in a, in a round, in a round that no, that is not needing it, so not only 
they don't increase the odds of winning this round, but they also lower the chances of winning the next round because now they're lacking the proper initiation of the K ult. Much nicer, threatened that you could have repositioned somewhere like Logs or B main. I'm not sure if the worry is just because Zest is holding onto his ultimate this entire time, but even still, I mean, if he's ulting the lockdown, it's going to be one less player to really. You, you just definitely playing out. Which is playing that fight. Get an upset result here, they'd have to attack. They are going to be, I think, playing against this triple initiator comp because you're going to have to layer out your utility when DRX. Oh, this is round nine, by the way. Uh, this is a really good example of how a DRX plays with no with no sentinel. Let's pay attention to the mini map. We're gonna break this down. I think this is this 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 might be actually a very good round to make a con make a content piece for for DRX uh, YouTube because that's my job, by the way, for DRX. I'm gonna be creating like analytical content for DRX as well that they're gonna use for social media and stuff. And I feel like this round might be a perfect example um as one of the first pieces although i do think that the pressure thing from pearl is also very good um content so we'll see classic play that we've seen from the <laughs> again bbl just smokes mid and uses an arrow there i really don't get this <laughs> so where Buzz would dash down mid. We see Stax use the same prowler that he was using before. Aslan learns to not stand in that corner because he got wrecked by it before. The arrow... The arrow... clears the entire lobby as well. So every single piece of... of positioning here is cleared. The only thing that is not cleared... No, actually, everything is being used. Look. K.O. Daga clears this. The, the Prowler clears this. Arrow clears this. Right? So, Buzz can just stand with the Operator and hold this angle and be a Kildred Turret with a better gun. Right? That will allow the other players to play in different positions. And this is a very good example of this. Look. That's not what they're going for. It's an Operator taking... So, they literally got the info. It's not B. Completely given up. It's not B. The DRX close the doors to market. Yes. Right now, you see that Zest is closing the doors to market. So if this is not broken, the like Buzz is literally single-handedly holding this entire map portion. This entire map portion is being held by the jet. Quite literally. And you're going to see how they were positioned because of that, because of the info that the utility of the early game was being used. Three players going to stack A, while the Sova, the only job that he has to do is watch the exit into spawn, because they cannot go into market into B unless they, they, they destroy the doors. Yeah, like you said, all that util being used paints a very clear picture of where BBL should be, and... Well, it's a pivot now with the mid round. And now, with no, angle, with nothing being done on the map, no one has to move. DRX has nothing to do. Literally, literally, the only job is to stand still. Hold this, hold this, hold this, hold this. This is the only thing that needs to be done by DRX right now. Are they going to expect this? Well, this could be everything in this moment. A stop to anything early on. Do they flash it? A little bit uncertainty on the um, spawn push. This is why fade repositions right now. The KO daggers A side, right, for info, and he doesn't get a tag. That's why you can see a small reposition, but role change. Now the fade, like this is so neat. The player from Jenny repositioned towards short. The player from short repositions towards spawn. And the player from spawn repositions towards B. Just because of the dagger here. Such a nice roll swap right here. But that seems yeah, like a fake big A presence, I think. Oh, look, there's two players. Yeah, the Sova's not even there. They're actually faking the A push, you right, Bren. With the drone. And the lockdown. So that's what they're trying to get value. So the lockdown on A doesn't really fake anything. Because the players can still stand on site there. Like, they'll not be faced by this. There's no reason to do anything. So Zest is using the ultimate to break it. And now just 
when that happens, when when Zest is using the ultimate to break the Killjoy lockdown, I don't feel like they even need to do that. I'll be honest with you. I feel like unless he uh, aims, is he aiming at it? Let me check. He kind of aims, I think, into... I don't know, we'll see in a moment. I feel like you don't even need to destroy the Killjoy Ultimate, but we'll see if he actually does, because it requires free, free charges, right? It's not two anymore. But it's like Buzz just stands still, and he gets a free kill, because he gets just dry-peaked. Because that Ultimate from Zest triggers BBL to push, because they think now DRX is not holding anything, and they over-rotate it. Holding the angle, contacting through, smoke at the top with the dash enabled. Yeah, lockdown destroyed. Okay, so Zest nice. used it to no lockdown. But now, literally, BBL achieved nothing. But I do like the smoke. Finally, they're using the smoke. This is the smoke that I wanted to see from Brave in that eco when he died first. This is the smoke that I really wanted to see. Good kill by, by Buzz, you know, but it's like sometimes you hit those because it's anticipated, right? Close. On the corner, a little bit labored there from good Zest control ultimately. by Zest. It's just two players now of BBL with time running this low. Ten seconds left. Does not look ideal. Yeah, this is such a such a fundamentally Buzz well played really round. That right? Yeah. I mean, able to hit the first shot and then what do you guys think? Would that dash, make a good content piece for anyway. DRX? The dash, and then he just one ways and just holds this angle. And he only dashes after he's I think so, right? Shot. This can be so nice to break broke down. To try and push him off the angle, yeah, yeah. It's still the case when they were talking about having. And we would name it. We would name it. How the Rex plays without a Sentinel on a Sent defense. The guy's a very, very talented player. He can play a multitude of roles, but when he's on the jet, he just takes over sometimes. He does, yeah. They've had a few games recently where Foxy Nine was playing where. Buzz ended up playing KO and he still took over the game. He's still, I, yeah, he still did well. I think he's just a beast. They've just got an extremely talented. They single-handedly stopped the the entire push with one KO oh, fragment. Really hard for BBL to get any value. I like the smoke again. The smoke on heaven is not needed. It doesn't really achieve anything. I really like the fact that Brave is now becoming a little bit more, a little bit more um, cheeky with the smokes. I <laughs> Buzz is crazy with those angle holds. He just knows that someone will be jumping up. Since those first four rounds. Yeah, the early rounds, right? Yeah, the early rounds where they were doing well, they actually created a lot of pressure in mid. I think from a theoretical point of view, that makes a lot of sense because DRX aren't running a sentinel in their comp. Even that jet peeked out of the smoke in main before he flashed? I think he died through the smoke, if I'm not mistaken. Kushner, yeah. Trying to punish them for that and push Buzz away from those positions or... If Buzz is in B main pushing, you know, whoever happens to be there, Zest or whatever. I think the more you can bully mid against... No, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. But the difference between theory and practice is everything when you're playing against a side as good as the RX. Yeah. And other players going to be making that kind of call as well. I would have used one of the timeouts, but... This looks like it might be down mid, though. Just as I say. Well, this is the same util I think that they're going to be using... Third the time. ...market and then should be a nade in pizza. That updraft just to get a P. Yeah. Just no one's covering it. Ready for it, Guys. Man. I mean, Kushner looks to see whether Buzz is there with his updraft. Doesn't spot anything because Buzz is playing. How on earth are you doing all of this util? How on earth are you doing all of this util on mid and you don't use anything for short? Right? Like. DRX just knows what's gonna happen on mid while seeing the first smoke and the arrow and this is just a free frag for Buzz because there's not a single piece of util being used on short but they used arrow, smoke, dagger and and and, and a molly on mid they wanted to fight short how do you want how do you want to fight short when you peak mid Look. Use the knife for market and then should be a nade in pizza. Look, he's not even he's not even looking at short. This is some this is some major major mistakes being done by BBL and this is why I didn't understand the the usage utility on mid because if you use utility like this on mid, 
then you should be attacking from top mid, but they're not attacking from top mid, and also that smokes fucks over their plan, so it's like, it's pointless. ready for it, man. I mean, Kushina looks to see where the buzz is there with his updraft. Doesn't spot anything because Buzz is playing, you know, anti-flash, anti-drone, and then he just peeks out at the perfect moment. When I was talking about prior with Kushina, so is the double swing there? The, the, there's no need to double swing. Just reposition the smoke. Reposition the smoke from mid to short and use the same utility. Look, if they would... If you want to fix this kind of mid control, you can keep the arrow over here. You can keep the dagger here. You can keep the molly over here. Just reposition the smoke from mid to short. And suddenly, you have a good plan to take mid. That's literally it. Because if you do this all utility on mid, then you can fight the player that is being like pushed out by all of that utility on, on, on middle. But that smoke ruins your plan. So it's like, it's really, in my eyes, this is a really bad planning. And this is the third time they do the same stuff. You could feel the setup from BBL where they were just trying to use that util to clear into mid. But ever since he's got this operator, it has just opened up uh, the map. It feels like the DRX from a calling perspective. They have so much information and know what's going on most of the time. And you need that jet if you're going down mid. Oh, the knife sees everything. RB with all the info in the world. Yeah, and now can just rotate. Still want to be committing into this one. It's going to be the swing through. Players ready and waiting. A pull inside the smoke. Just pushes them back. And all it takes is that rifle spam. So brutal to watch. The first four rounds all going the way of BBL. You can also keep the smoke mid, but jump short, jump spot short and attack from mid top maybe. But if you're jump spotting B link to short, you are giving an opportunity for the opposing players, and that smoke on mid is literally putting in a dent in your plan. And by the way, this is this is gonna be funny. Look, three times BBL used the same utility on mid. And this time, they're going for a different one because the arrow lands on market, the smoke is the same, but the dagger from KO lands on short, the, the arrow from Sova lands on top mid, and just this alone gives the full info for DRX. They know it's an A push. Because this arrow can only land from top mid. This dagger can only land from top, uh, from uh, A main. So once they clear the B the, the B main with the uh, with the prowler, they will stack A. This is where you know. Like You're gonna see a fast rotation from from Fate. You're gonna see a fast rotation from Sova as well. See this? Up with the right answer for all of us, but look at it. Any sort of pressure that's being applied, it's util being used, but answered in kind by the ultimates. Nightfall scattered across the Hunter's Fury to try and get them into the site, but the damage is done. And a wall to split them back up. Mako anchoring in position. Util flying this way, that way, holding the wall, making sure that no one can really step over that line. Friend Mako is not human. That is a ridiculous shutdown. It's just absurd. I don't know if you spotted that there at the end of the half. I'm a 19 years old Mako gold solo queue. In five years, I'll be immortal free. In seven or eight years, I will play for a protein maybe tier free. Goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> Goodbye, bro. I'll remember your name. The ult and then gets another three kills afterwards. The, the, the man is a legend. He's yeah. carved from stone. He's granite. <laughs> it does not make sense sometimes, but the level of consistency, the level of play that he puts up over these LAN tournaments is just... On another level entirely. Let's send it down to the desk to break down the first half. Wow, wow, wow. DRX. I mean, I feel like a broken record at this point, but it's just what they do out in the field is just I mean, we've, we've put one of them in the past where yeah. on a map that's space now works.
I couldn't agree with Fulham. By the point. way, the RX loses both pistol rounds. And as much as you can say that the pistol round on defense, well, they couldn't say much. The pistol round on attack was thrown by the RX, in my opinion. Uh, but when you lose both pistol rounds and the follow-up to the round, your win rate plummets. Like, really takes a nosedive. And typically, a team who wins both pistol rounds and the follow-ups has around 75-80% to 80 win rate on that map. So, once that happens, the ERX are going to be on a huge, huge back foot. But, listen, four could be doable for them. This pistol round, though, has gained a lot of importance. Has to start here. Brave caught out with a bit of a flash there. I was actually pretty close to killing him. How quickly do they just dump on... How the hell did Brave kill RB right now? Through the smoke? All of their utility. I think so. Yeah, a lot being used now. Yeah, and Buzz, th this is a problem here. Like, Buzz dashes, dashes into a position that someone is already playing at on dice. So when he dashes in a straight line, a straight line like this, right here, right? The player from dice has an easy time killing him because he can literally just spam it blindly and has a very high chance at killing Jet. Right? Whoops. That's a whiteboard. Now with a smoke as well to dash through. That Good is spam. just some spam. Yep, punishing that one. And that shuts down almost everything. DRX can't get dragged into the site because Buzz, their player that's the furthest forward, instantly fell. No possibility of being double faced. The side anchors can sit pretty and just hold that smoke. Not exactly sure what the game plan was with the real flow seems to be beyond not taking B main control and worried about losing the X aren't worried about losing mid as they don't have to fear a B split. Well, the problem was the mid control by BBL using that that three rounds that they used the util on mid was really like non consequential. What you're looking at here is. Kushner could definitely take a really uncomfortable duel with stacks, but Turco's spotting really good information, go. and he's not going to get punished by doing that. Seen the one, but it doesn't enough, do enough really to drive too many rotations. Still, <laughs> that's what we wanted to see from him. Kushner taking one after the other. Had a dash though, right? Active. And the cleanup is there as Aslan's going to get that re swing. Great still around, Josh, you know. Talking about it. Was an important one to win. BBL starting off on the right foot. Yeah, I think Turco does such a good job there. Which is going to vote review next after you're done with the DRX versus BBL. Uh, I don't know. I, I, let's see Let's see how I feel, because if I'm going to be feeling like a little bit too tired to do another vote review, I'm just going to play some games. We'll see. No plan for now. And they finish off the round. That pistol, as you said, Brent, the most important round for BBL to win. They need to get the follow-up, and ideally, round 15, the bonus would also the be... The biggest mistake that DRX did will be the round 3, though. One time, but and it's a very basic mistake. From that one and look at that. Wait, uh, let me check something. So be lovely for them. Yeah, again, no, no utility being bought by stacks. No drone being bought by Zest. I don't know, man. It's a very big crit criticism that I have towards almost every single pro team. Not buying the utility on round two is really, I do feel like it's a huge mistake. Put a bow on it, please. There you go. Kushina getting this kill would have been. Kushina getting that kill. I suppose it doesn't really matter either way because he died. So he has one away from his knives. It doesn't really matter whether he got the kill or whether he died, but he's, he's one away from his knives right now. That could be enormous heading into this bonus round. Yeah. I'd be really surprised if they commit to the operator here. But I suppose if they commit to the op in the bonus, they still have the knives for the round after. Yeah, so there's no, no problem with that. Now, honestly, this is very unexpected, I think. I mean... Some teams are going to be thinking those layers ahead. You just hold. Like Zest buys the drone. You shouldn't have had it last round. The question is, the DRX going to be expecting this because it's a bit of an outlandish. All right, let's see. Standard setup from BBL. Although the Kilger turret is very deep and no one is playing off her. That's kind of awkward. Um, unless they will just change the position in a moment. They will. Um, but this is this is the right here. You're gonna see the main reason. Even though the you even though DRX lost two pistol rounds and the follow-ups and also the bonus round, right? This is still a winnable match. 
But this mistake here by Buzz literally froze the 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 all of the hope for this map. It's the correct play actually though too because these orbs are really difficult to get if you're a defender. Right here. This. This dry peak on mid was completely unnecessary and Buzz could have used his own smokes to smoke bottom mid because he was late to take the space after the dagger from KO. You know? Because the thing is, the dagger lands, right? Let's let's take a look at the at the dagger. The point is, the dagger lands on market clears also the position where Kushner is standing right here. Right? Actually, it's a little bit awkward because look, look, it ends here. But in theory, it should probably kind of clear it or not. And there's also should be a, a Astra Smoke at this point here in this spot, right? But none of this is happening and Buzz is not using his own smoke. So he just goes very late into this position as in a dry peak and gets punished. And now DRX lost the pivotal role on attacking on this map on the most important round of their game because if they don't win this round the opponents are building up economy and they also already have an ultimate hey, sorry an operator another position posted up but this time they do notice operators online and Kushner's the one who wants to take quite a striking angle and now, because of that, because of the one kill on mid, unfortunately, like, players are feeling they have to, like, just do something, right? Like, Kushner also, like, threw this whole shit so hard. And they've just opened the door for DRX to get straight back in. Brave and Turco only have ghosts. They need to go and forage. They will get that rifle, but... Like, DRX lost so much this round, is actually, I mean, winning this round is not really, like, that positive. Because they lost three rifles, and the opponents are gonna save the operator, right? And, and I feel like Buzz was just, like, off his game in those few rounds, you know? I mean, you do, you do take that. It's not a bad bonus round by any means, and you save the op. But what could have been? Yeah, what could have been? It could have been a ro uh, one round entirely. What could have been? This could be eight eight. What is even more funny is though, is that both jets entered the hell out of the teams because if executioners, if if Kushner wouldn't have used the ult and push out of the smoke, that would probably win the retake and most likely win the map outright there. Look, look at this. He gets the kill here. If Kushner just falls back and plays retake with the rest of the team instead of peeking like this, they will have a very high chance of winning this round and shutting down the Rex right now. Just before the match when they were talking, you know, singular limbs, so many teams, you don't have that buffer anymore of groups that you've had at the prior global events. Look at the frustration on the BBL players' faces as well. Reflected by delight on the other side. Yeah. Still, though, a great buy for BBL, and like you said, friend, you'll take that as a bonus round. Mm -hmm. The one way, the one way counter. Look, look, this is a one way counter because the pop flash bounces below the one way, and the player jumps through the one way so he's not visible. Look at this. Like right? The the one way uh, the one way smoke is actually a little bit late as well. But it allows you to take this space <laughs> without being spotted. Hi, Karamba. Can Kushina get up to more mischief? Over here, he's pretty far away from the action, but a fairly quick Yes, I'm uploading this to my secondary YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, and here, look, Buzz gets to 10 HP. And this is the third round in a row when Buzz literally couldn't do shit. In pistol rounds, he gets killed because his dash was not optimal. In second round, doesn't matter. In third round, he dry peaks mid and dies to an operator. In fourth round, he goes into the smoke and gets to 10 HP. And now again, the execute is completely like stopped. Because with 10 HP, 
Jed will have a very hard time dashing effectively onto this side. So what's your plan here? I think it was just one bullet there to the head, maybe a bit of war bang damage, but left down to 10 health. This is bold from Brave. Think about all the utility that needs to be broken. Also, it's kind of funny that um, you, you see Zass being 6 out of 8, and yet Stax, Stax is uh, going for his ultimate. So that there are two main reasons for that. Either DRX doesn't value the Sova ultimate, right? And think they need the Fade ultimate more as soon as possible because it's just more powerful. Or they want to align the ultimates in the same round. I'm not sure which one is the actual call, because without actually being in the comms of the team, you will never know. A close knife. I think that was the timing that DRX were waiting for, because a couple of players were just out of range of it, but... Buzz did get seen, though, and yeah, this is... The jet is normally going to be where the push is. Exactly, and four players from BBL already and waiting for this one, and look at that! <laughs> it's... Yeah, but he, he dies after that, you know? Like... Oh, and that arrow just, that arrow on the top of wall just kills entire DRX. That's why I don't like this map. It's just so monothematic. It's so mono. It's so boring, man. Every single executor has to be the same. But that, that arrow, insane. And the record is very simple. It just lands on top of on top of the wall from on the side, and that's it. But they had, they had the layers ready for it. Yeah, three players waiting for turn. You look at the scoreline of Wendrex timeout. Here, um, I feel like st uh, I, this is inside Harry again. But we're gonna see a lineup that I suggested when I was doing the watch party yesterday. I was suggesting to use the fade eye in this window here, and that was actually being used later on because. With with Buzz being six out of seven, it's very obvious that he's gonna go for one of the orbs. So the Sova from BBL Sushni is ready for that, and they're not countering his position because they're not using either. Like, look, we have three initiators on the DRX. Like, use one of the utility pieces, like the arrow or the eye, to make sure that the Sova will not stand here behind the wall to spam it, right? But that is not happening, and they will pay the price. You're not expecting DRX to go into OT against BBL on this map. But it was BBL's pick. And Look at this. So far, See? Both of the pistols and they the didn't use anything. And now, this is this is so tough, man. And Buzz, fourth, fifth round in a row on attack, he feels useless. You know? And this time, it's not maybe his fault, but it's like, oh my god, dude. Your mental is in the gutters right now. It's a lovely heads up play from BBL, honestly. You look at this round, you look at the state of it. You know, DRX are not going to be buying, but they are close to these ultimates, so of course they're going to be playing for these orbs. Absolutely, and this is what I thought DRX were going to do in that prior round that we had talked about. But basically yeah. just playing to deny ult orbs. One with the... Okay, but being able to get this orb would be really useful. Because then when the rifles are back up and he dies in this round, he's going to have his KO ult on. Yeah, he will. Yeah, I would rather prefer the stacks ultimate than KO ultimate. The presence just by picking up the orb just yet. Knife well, close. Now with, they know. With that knife, I think it's worthwhile RB getting the orb. What a shot. Okay, Stax goes for it instead, which is also fine. Again, when Stax dies... I think it's more knife. important because you want to it's make sure that you can play... Um, you can push away the operator player. Oh, oh, this will just be mowing them down. Yeah. Beautiful timing. And yeah, with only a couple of seconds left remaining. Zest. This will be a lovely prize if you can get his way out of here. But no, won't escape the clutches there at BBL. Good one, he bags. Watched for. Or a kill. This one is tough. But if BBL take it, it would be everything. I mean, they're setting themselves up to succeed. Now, you know, it's funny that Stax uses that eye in the window right now on B main. Look, see this? It's literally being used right now when it's not that needed. It's kind of backwards. There's the smoke on short to counter the operator, flash to take control of mid, and you can see you can see the dagger. Now look from DRX. This is so different from DRX. This is how we properly take mid instead of how the uh, of, instead of how BBL was taking it. They use the same dagger on here, right? Same dagger is being used, but the arrow lands on this spot to make certain that you have a better understanding of pizza control. Because this angle also clears pizza to some extent when you're taking the mid side, 
right? And the smoke is being used on short to ensure that you can just take that space. Now, the Astra star on mid is not being used till it needs to be used. Look how open mid is here. Kushina choosing not to play in mid has just left that area of the map so open. See, now it's being just faked out because they don't need that smoke because they're taking that space. But this is another mistake here. Not destroying those doors is literally just mistake 100% because you don't do any pressure. If you, When he used that smoke, he needed to destroy the doors. Once this door does get broken... Yo, Toxic Alfred, thank you for the Agent Companion videos. Really changed how I think about the game, even with hours and hours in the game. Thank you for watching them, man. So now, now we have, like, abundance of utility being used. We have the Astra Ultimate to... Well, it is... It, it, unfortunately, it is telegraphic. Because you don't push A-side with this Astra Ultimate. There's no way. Just this is telegraphic towards B-side. And now the Ultimate from Stax is actually really bad. Oh, I, I, do, I dislike this heavily. Look where the Fade Ultimate stops. It doesn't clear CT. It literally stops at the entrance of CT with the Astro Ball. So you don't get any information about that player. And the reason why is that happening is because Stax is alone on B main. He's not even B main. He's using it in front of B main. So this ultimate is really not having a lot of value when it comes to like info. And Stack still has the prowler. So I, I don't know, man. I would love this if they would have B main control. If they would have B main control, that ultimate would have had more info on the city as well, more info on site as well, and the prowler would have had value. But right now. There's no value out of the ultimate from Fade, and they go onto the like they got no they got no space anyway. See, like there's there's not much that they gained by using all of that util. Like they just got kills on the backside players, right? And it's two v four right now if you count the chaos still being alive. Down, right the side. <laughs> this could have been done right here. Brave doesn't whiff. B DRX loses the round. What is that? The prowler in his hands and still but he here, the target. there's some overheat. I don't. I don't think Aslan actually overheats. I think Aslan had good timing and he should have gone for that anyway. But it ends up with just dead, and they throw the round because of that kind of. But I don't blame him for doing that. On one side of the smoke. Left it just up to Kushina, running around just trying to get Kiwi. better weaponry for this retake. He knows it's still winnable now. The Odin is in his hands. Not exactly did he ping for himself? I think he did. Actually, the weapon for the job, a bit of spam. So yeah. Down through the walls, but stacks deals. Did you enjoy Ethan's Euro? Yeah, it was pretty okay. Not ideal, but definitely way better than what typically see from a Euro on pro really level. I wasn't a fan of how BBL were playing the defense. But I think one thing I wasn't considering was Brave TPing into backside to go and help Turco. And once there were two players back there, it actually started to look a bit, a bit rough for DRX. Yeah. Stacks though with a monstrous kill. Don't know how he pulled that one out. Really should not have. Should he? I mean, the should not have going in a different direction. He was yeah, no, one hundred. Like should not have won the when you think about it, like DRX got close here just because of some overheats from BBL. If BBL in round three, Kushner would have had more patience, they would have most likely won that round. If BBL unfortunate Brave with wouldn't have happened, BBL would have won that round. This map would have been not close with those either lucky situations or unlucky situations, depending on how you look at it. That's the fade lineup that I wanted to see when they were not going for the orb. Weren't able to close out a step into the right direction for Europlay? Yes, I agree. Certainly had chances to win I'm I'm kind of bummed out that I don't see Zest using a lineup for for mid control to destroy the alarm about here. Like they were they were using it a lot in in Pell, but they're not using it here. It's very awkward. Has been made now by DRX. Seems to be playing towards his mid control. The same drone. Brazilian Batlift? Yes, exactly. That's that's the name of the Turkish team. Dash was used, maybe just to try and fake that he is 
getting out of that. Yeah, that's an intriguing one. They're holding a crossfire as well between Kushner and Aslan. Yeah, BBL knows that the mid mid control is the weak point for them. Uh, that flash was not ideal. I mean, the peak was not ideal. I, I would say. Yeah. Trying to reset the aim to try and catch the spray down, but the Vandal in hand doesn't quite make the best weapon for the job. Oh no! Still, the Rex are just looking apart. This is insane, by the way. Looking for it, but they just swing in. Looking apart, it crumbles again for the job. Oh no! Still, the Rex are just. Looking apart, it crumbles again. Yeah, BBL oh. looking for it, but they just swing into it. Like aligning <laughs> just for Turco to just beam them. Down. Sometimes the game will not will gift. not mind. What a gift that you know, landed on his doorstep. Lucky rounds, you know. Perfect crosshair placement for the first kill. But wow, I don't. They just aligned, you know. To get the a little bit of a bad a angle for them, you know. Massive one for BBL to win. See how much it means as well to Vlad. Excited for NRG tonight. Seems solid. Hey, that, there's no VCT today, right? There's no games being played today. But with DRX, their economy is in a much worse spot. So it knocks them down. So the result of that 50-50 exchange is still BBL in a great position. Dodge there, the flash. This is DRX's answer to things with the knives in hand. Anything could be possible with this one. Our players have to remain cool, calm, and collected, and they are able to at least lock that one down. What a shot by Brave. Lovely stuff. As Sochni cleans up the other players. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A quick I'm going to vote with you, EG versus a hard to spell. I will most likely, I'm not saying that right now, because it's pretty exhausting to do vote reviews like this on stream. Question that we were asking earlier, you know, has the practice been spent? I really hope that DRX destroys C9. I hated it when one member of C9 waved to PRX when they lost it, was so rude. What? It's competition, man. Rude would be, I don't know, showing them a middle finger or something. I mean, an 8 4 lead, winning eight rounds in a row. You want them to be like, good game, Mo, bro. Sucks that you guys lose. lost. A TP in. Yep, a lot of damage done, Zest. Soft enough target that the kill is there. Yeah, this is fight over this one. Basic Nate crackdown on A, but very effective. That was a wild series of events. Yeah, so fast the fight over that. DRX is still looking to try and contest A, man. And it's just the right amount of disruption. You lose two players here. There's only a couple of options really left available to DRX. Some of it landing on the shoulders of stacks on the other side of the map. You can see him working his way into B main. Buzz deliberately getting tagged there by the knife to make it feel like this. Would it be nice? I mean, the Valand community is really toxic, so the pro players should be nice, don't you think? But what is not nice about waving? Uh, we could do it. Come on. What is that alarm bolt time? It's perfect. I don't want to talk about this. Um, about stacks bunny hopping like that. Really just run with his knife out, and now they know. Spike falling, all down to Buzz. What a round! What a round! Brent, that fight over A main was Turkish Valorant. Yeah. They, they were aggressive, confident. They refused to give up space, and they sought to take the duels. Nah, and guys, you, you get guys. Too, from Sochni, fantastic addition. If we don't have any banter between the teams, this is gonna get it boring very fast. Just full chat. My friends, like. This is, think about Valorant Esports, CSGO Esports, Rocket League Esports, just like, to some degree, wrestling matches. If you don't have storylines, if you don't have banter, if you don't have heels, if you don't have people who are just trying to create rivalry, this is pointless. You know? Bring Kushner taking point, quick dash back just to respect the presence, but Direct's going for something quite unusual. They just push, push Buzz into a deeper position. Horn not being dealt with. What wow. is that? Just spotting the target, the smoke in the way, and easily done, easy clean up. Three kills for Kushner. And map point for BBL. Who could have seen this one coming? On a scent of all maps. No. I mean, when you look the killer window through the, the, the smoke, yeah, pretty nice. But not much to say about this one. It's like 
Buzz doesn't. Buzz wanted to forget about this map as soon as possible, man. Like, th there's no way that the Buzz goes out of this map and goes like, D did I actually play the game? I don't think I got to play the game this game, this map. They're going to be swinging more, disrupting your timings more, hitting their shots more. A lot of Valorant can be a confidence game, and that's not going to bode too well for DRX. This is a must-win round. For you're Polish and you understand wrestling that well. Not much people in Poland get get it. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, in the begin, when I was a teenager, I didn't understand it as well. I thought it's stupid. When I was a teenager, I was like wrestling. Fuck me, man! What is such a such Stupid American thing. It's just entertainment. Though. But I understood that la years later on. Good morning, Melonin. Sorry if someone already asked you, but what did you think of how Adam played the other yesterday? Damn it, this is like the 68th time. And now you're the 69th noise that a person asking this. Uh, it was pretty nice. I liked it. It was probably one of the... Split it up. Better yours that I've seen in pro play so far, but it's still far away from how he used be, how he should be used. Pretty easy read by BBL here. But they lost the duels, and that's about it. But let let me check the execute actually from DRX because this was a little bit different than the execute from mid and the prowler gets two and there are the sorry the, the nightfall gets two the prowlers gets like a lot of value out of here you know like this prowler just gets so much pressure you know and allows them to take the space just like that over in the blink of an eye Overtime seems to be on the cards in the same way that it was at Champions for DRX. As an avid wrestling fan who gets constantly reminded wrestling is fake, I have to tell them I know, so it's a Game of Thrones, Mama movies, and a movie in general, yet you still watch it. It's like theater, but for Rednecks. But I say that positively, I don't say this negatively, you know? They just used all of their ults. So BBL, yeah, they lost that round, but they drew huge ultimates out of DRX. And now it's, it's just, it's just the uh, low level entertainment, you know. Grand opportunity presented itself to BBL. But it's, uh, if people like it, I don't mind it, you know. People like different shit. Look, I would still watch a lot of wrestling than fucking Big Brother reality shows. Fuck me, man. That's dog shit entertainment, though. Played a retake setup currently, but the paranoia is enough. To stop the Iraqs from getting in through the choke point this time around. And it's also just thrown the ultimate in there from Turco. So yeah, no command. That's a massive ult to stop. Uh, uh, by the way, I didn't watch a single episode of Big Brother. I just know it's just not valuable at all for me. Um, Commander, uh, thank you so much for the six months. Half a year, new subscriber badge. How are you doing, brother? Welcome back. Stop any kind of fast hit. Maybe they are reluctant to play retake with the operator. Oh. You should have knives. Good awareness there from Stax, just using the prowler to make sure that that corner is cleared in case someone was pushed. But maybe I'm not showing that. Think about it. Think about this map in this way. DRX got crushed, made huge mistakes, made some really questionable uh, executes, and lost both pistols and also about bonus round. And yet the map went to 11 13. Gives the option now potentially for the Hunter's Fury to be used to initiate a way in, but Kushina, what a play, what a star. Two kills as they try and work their way in, eventually just taken out. The door closing to nice the kill, still running their way up through. Jenny Arby, how do you get that one? 3v3. <laughs> how is he alive, man? How was Marco alive? If Marco gets a kill back there on Turco, that was, they could have actually gone over time. From every approach, every angle, a BBL. Gonna claim map number two in this series when everything All is right. done and dusted. Congrats to BBL. I mean, no big, no small feat deleting uh, the DRX on ascent, you know? Being maybe the biggest upset of the alpha bracket if BBL were able to pull it off. Well, now they've taken one step along that route.